What's going on uh, Facebook and eventually YouTube? Scarlet Pale here to say I'm uh, completely sorry, sorry I was unable to get uh, things ready for the Saber build of the week that's supposed to be happening in a few minutes. Um, getting things prepared today, I ran into some comp some more complications with say how the ways how Saber Forge does things. Mainly the Crystal Chamber and the uh, lovely uh, methods they've used for this. Um, so I'm gonna just so for now the uh, saber build of the week has been po postponed till tomorrow night, um, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Standard. You know, same time just just tomorrow, and and I'll I'll get to why in a second. So the saber forges crystal chamber was so it had the crystal chamber. And the heat sink just, or the LED house and just screw it on like that. That's actually not too bad. I actually kind of like that because it's all one module. And I kind of wish they sold this by itself. And, you know, the wires went through here and whatnot. But as you can see, they didn't really do the, these tubes that the wires came out of. None of these are even. They didn't sand these down. They just kind of just adhere them in and just cut them crudely. Um, and then the crystal crystal chamber. If I could get actually, no, I can't even get that back in there that way. The crystal chain, the crystal was wedged in here, and then has. You know, I'm not even gonna try to get it back in, but it was wedged in there pretty hard, and it was only held in by this mess of hot glue. Um, the reason why you see all this dust particles, hot glue particles and whatnot is because in order for me to get this out I had to do some weird angle like hammering with the screwdriver through there and to be honest I wasn't even like I was holding the screwdriver actually was was the tip. Ah, tip like I was I wasn't even aiming like when I was in there I was actually just aiming down between the crystal and the house in here well here and then I was just trying to hammer it down this way with the hammer that wasn't really so pleasant and that eventually chiseled all the way through this crystal which I don't even know if it's, it feels like an actual stone but no idea what the material is and then I eventually because I was also trying to um, get a good spot of that. So this part here that's supposed to hold it actually screws in and out, but there was no way I'm actually getting this section out. I've tried numerous ways, a lot, a lot of uh, silicon oil, a lot of piercing this uh, through the holes and then twisting it. Problem is, it got to a point where not sure if you guys can see this. Yeah, this is bent. My fancy, real fancy Allen keys that have served me well for over, over two years now is now bent because of the way they've, they've done things. So, the reason why I'm postponing this is, is I'm going to take the beginning part of, uh, I'm going to take the rest of tonight and the beginning part of tomorrow to figure, figure out a better method of doing this to... Um, I'm going to get on, get my, get on Tinkercad, a 3D modeling program, and develop a new crystal, and a new crystal holder that's going to slide through there, and is going to hold the, the accent, RGB accent LED that, um, NEC sells. And, which, actually, speaking of which, speaking to Saber Forge's, uh, debauchery, this was the LED. This was their oh, This was the RGB LED solution. Three real tiny three millimeter. I think these are three millimeter. Three millimeter LEDs, accent LEDs, squished up all close to each other and then shoved in, shoved into here with the resist with the small resistors hot glued into it 
with the, with all the other mess of hot glue that was in this channel or tube that held the crystal in and like wow I mean and you know the crystal chamber at all was and, and I got this too it was like the one thing I was wondering is like hey okay, why isn't the crystal chamber as bright as it is all the other crystal chambers I've wired up you know the accent LEDs have been fairly bright and but this here is just so dim but now that I cleared out so much mess of hot glue you know no wonder why the light from these LEDs don't reach all the way into the crystal um, so with that said this is, I can't I can't do this tonight I won't be able to do the shape build of the week tonight uh, so this is I'm sorry about that uh, this is I should have I should have did this the other day so there was no, no way possible so there's uh, I would I should be yes, I'm sorry um, I should have worked with this uh, early on in the week to make sure that there wasn't any more douchebaggery and lo and behold uh, there was some right here in the crystal chamber and now I have to delay my video uh, my rebuild video for for the SF Monarch uh, it sucks but I'll definitely get this done tomorrow night uh, same time um, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, and it'll, it'll be it'll be a good stream. I'll, I'll make it interesting. Uh, I'm gonna try the music thing again. Uh, maybe if I try something else that's not Star Wars, uh, Facebook won't uh, give me the zuck, and I'll be able to actually get my video still up on uh, Facebook. But if not, it'll just end up on YouTube. Um, with that said, I don't really have anything else going on because I can't really do anything else. You know, it's outside of clean this mess off my uh, work desk. And, uh, said, uh, have yourself a, uh, have yourself a good night. Oh, and also, actually, yeah, before we go on, I'm actually working on some custom blade plugs. Um, nothing terribly special that, you know, well, it is special if you're a big fan of Ruby. But I'm working on blade plugs... Uh, based off the symbols of Ruby and one Batman. Uh, these will be up on my Thingiverse page eventually. And uh, once I get some things figured out, because some of these pieces are just somehow kind of floating in there and I don't like it, so I'm going to have to do some bit of structural monitor, uh, bit more structural uh, modeling with that. So the pieces, the designs in the middles aren't just floating. Alright, for real now, now uh, with that said, you guys have yourself a good night, and may the force, may the force be with you.